everybody, welcome back to channel. This video is being posted Thursday, I believe. Oh god. Okay, um, this, some of you may recognize this, but this is FNAF Pizzeria Simulator. Yeah. Um, uh, let's get past it. I don't want to just skip past this, but Okay. <clears throat> oh my god. Something's supposed to happen? Okay. Turn that down. Um, but yeah, as you can see, FNAF P3 is a simulator. Um, we're playing this because I'm out of ideas. Um, as you all know, Tuesday I started doing SMP. There will definitely be more episodes of that. I I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So yeah. Um There will definitely be more of that. So yeah. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble yeah. that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? Uh -huh. We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. That's not how that with works. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some uh, tables, well, and electricity. Um, but don't forget about the money you had left over after buying um, your franchise package. Another thing? Use it to decorate, buy a stage, I buy attractions and animatronics, and much, every much more. FNAF game. Now, let's take a look at a few things that like will help get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. This is just such as start. I've got FNAF atmosphere. World, pizzeria, Making and sure your establishment so has an inviting um, atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Playing Having a reach, lot of entertainment value in your restaurant I will ensure that, that customers come back. Maybe. Bonus it's, it's revenue. Big maybe. Point operated um, games and attractions can generate additional revenue during but, the day. Which means more We're money just in playing your this pocket. for now. Ready we will reinvest start when we get health up to and safety. Six. There may be times when you Actually, purchase nah, something of questionable start, quality, and we don't, I don't blame you. Finish Cutting corners is just good business. I want to just play but a little bit steps you until can take we to get ensure the other you don't get sued games. for it. And that brings us to so, liability. Being up. a thrifty shopper is smart. But be aware that um, buying things on sale comes so with a certain amount of we're risk. Start with FNAF Aside one. from the daily risk of lawsuits, after, after I get also all the risk that something one, might two, be hiding four, inside five, whatever six. you just purchased with yeah. that steeply discounted price tag. Including FNAF of World. course, that Help would only be a serious be danger if there were something I outside that's been trying to really get in for months now, it, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, maybe you are now the face of the newly rebranded really Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. On what's gonna happen. Wear that smile so, with pride and let's make some money. Yeah. Fazbear we'll Entertainment money. is not responsible for um, disappearance, death, or dismemberment. But yeah, we are gonna do that. So let's go. Let's get started. Day one. I have. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great. That should be more than enough. Now let's get started. 
On your left are your product catalogs. Okay, you so can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply pit. purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Okay, so... Okay, let's go. So we're just gonna search there. Add that. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go back to the catalog. And I will buy this double C. Just a little under to buy some of them. Um, we'll just go midnight by this. We will play test the ball pit. Sound, oh my god. Uh. Oh, close. Okay. Yes, let's go. There's so much more on the Steam version. I had I have this on Xbox too. But why is there so much more cars on the Steam version? Like, oh my god.
that old opening at the bottom. Um, we're gonna do that in a different video. I just wanna, like, play through. Um, we're at four risks right now, which is a problem. Okay, we'll just finish. There shouldn't be anyone tonight, so... Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print. So, okay, there shouldn't be anyone on tonight, so I don't really gotta check the sides. So... Well, I don't have to check the sides at all. There's no one here. This is annoying. I did not know this. I swear, I did not know this. Oh my god. I did not mean to do that. Stop it. This one or that one? No. Okay. I'm worried that there's actually someone here on this night. I don't think there is. I'm pretty sure there's not. But there's still that little guilt in me that there might be. Why do I have to go on a computer to unclog a toilet? Or clean ovens or replace bulbs? Like... <laughs> Why? It doesn't make sense. I'm confused. Okay. Okay, final one. Then we're good for tonight. Okay. Oh, what's an equipment? Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang Yay. of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. Oh my God. There is okay. another aspect to your oh. end of day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics okay. found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this oh. line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. I'm sorry, if you what do did decide you just say? to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel you that it is death? becoming unstable, 
use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. I do. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Okay, so for this like run through, like to go through, I am not gonna get any of the animatronics. Just for this one. And then um when we'll go through it again, um I'll get a few of them, but not get the rest. So for this one, I'm throwing it away. I don't want it. Don't forget Saturday. You want them all to be in one place. No, nah, really? <sighs> okay, um, I'm not gonna do that, so... Yeah! Okay. So, $300. I'll take it. We'll buy this. Bet. Oh, I'll take 500 bucks any day. So we'll buy a happy frog and speed music. Keep catch. How does something hide inside this? Please, tell me. How does something hide inside a bunch of paper, cups, and napkins? Like, that does not make any sense.
one is about to run out. Oh, that sucks. Oh, there's still so much more. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. How are you already starting to show up? This doesn't make sense. Oh no. Oh, I think this... I think I'm done. Dang, I did good, too. Okay. I'm gonna go again. There's a magnet up there I'm going after. Did I only get- Oh, I got 900. Okay. Okay, I think that's enough of three maze. Um... I would, but I can't. Can I buy anything else? Oh, so So, I think this is going to be it for this episode. Um, I had a lot of fun. Uh, there's going to be more of this as well. But, I think the episode after this that's going to be posted next Tuesday is going to be um, a... Um, oh my god. Uh, a Divinity SMT episode. So the second episode. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. Um, so, uh, I guess I will see you all next time. And have, have a great day. Goodbye!